Hey there, I'm Ken. This is Canadian Retro Things. Welcome to day five of my ultimate retro advent calendar. It's now December the 5th. Have you got your Christmas shopping done yet? Yeah, I haven't. But I do have lots of goodies to play with in my ultimate retro advent calendar. And I know I'm excited about seeing what I have to play with today. Are you excited? Because I'm really excited. So let's go over to the table and take a look. Day number five is one of the newer things that I have in my retro advent calendar. Um, it's only about, I guess, 13 or 14 years old. But it's got a very retro feel to it when you play it. Um, it's something that I picked up not that long ago, something I never even knew about beforehand. And I got it at a value village for actually very cheap, which is kind of hard to find anything like uh, in the gaming and stuff at value villages anymore or any of those secondhand shops that's cheap anymore. So I was happy to pick it up. It works. It's a lot of fun to play. I'll bet you're wondering what it is. What do I have for day number five of my ultimate retro advent calendar? Well, I won't keep you in suspense any longer. It's this. And today's submission is my Star Wars Clone Wars plug and play game. If you watch my channel, you know that I do have a bunch of plug and play games. I really like collecting these. I think they're a lot of fun. And this, by leaps and bounds, is my favorite one that I have picked up so far. It's motion controlled and it's actually really good gameplay on it. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, I guess uh, there's not a lot to say about this other than Let's take a look at this in action because having this out is making my fingers itch for the triggers and I am ready to blow up some bad guys. Here we go, playing some Star Wars and this is just a really fun game to play. So I am going to keep playing it until I have something new and fun to play tomorrow.